Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we're going to do your general love read for mid-February. Now, keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that everyone's doing well. Oh, Sagittarius. Okay, <laughs> this is interesting. So when I was meditating over you guys' energy... The song that I heard was New York, New York by Frank Sinatra. I will leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Couple messages. Someone can be dealing with someone whose name is Frank, Franklin, or um, Frankie. That could be you also. Um, when I heard it, I didn't hear the New York, New York part of the song. I heard literally, start spreading the news. Let me tell you, I didn't know the name of the song. I knew it was Frank Sinatra, but I did not know the name of the song, okay? Because you know how sometimes you watch movies and you hear, like, songs on a soundtrack or songs playing in the background of the video or the movie or something like that? That's how I was aware of the song. Plus, I, I like Frank, Frank Sinatra, so I like his voice, so I knew who he was, but I didn't know the name of the song. I thought it was literally Star Spreading the News. So when I put it in YouTube so I could find out the exact name of the song, I was surprised to find out that the name of the song was New York, New York. So some of you all could either have been born or grew up in New York or currently stay in New York. Also, some of you all could be traveling to New York. Excuse me, but more than anything, I'm really picking up literally because the part of the song that I heard was start spreading the news. Something is about to be put on blast, okay? Something is about to be put on center stage, and I feel like it has to do with some type of third party or some type of breakup. I'm, I'm, I'm picking up a strong energy that somebody's trying to conceal something, trying to hide a breakup like it didn't happen. They're trying to keep everybody out of their business, but I feel like the other party is about to put this on blast, and I kind of feel like it's going to be you guys. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what we get today, especially if it has to do with third party, because I am picking up an energy of somebody like losing it. Like somebody kind of finding some things out and putting it on blast. Keep in mind, we are currently in Mercury retrograde. That is the time where you will see a lot of people airing out all of their business and other people's business on social media, things like that. It is it's getting kind of to that point where I feel like somebody is about to expose the hell out of somebody in a really embarrassing way because I keep hearing embarrassment. Okay, so let's see what we get for you guys today, okay? Then the power of the deck, change the cards at the top and the bottom. We'll do the same for your clarifying deck. And as always, there are absolutely no reversals. <laughs> no reversals in either one of my decks, okay? You got the high priestess secrets. Secrecy. Somebody is waiting for the perfect time to put something on blast. I'm telling you, that's what I'm really getting. Um, some of you all could be dealing with a Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individual. Again, no reversals. Look at that. Three of, look at that. Three of swords right here. So there was some type of breakup. And somebody's going to expose it, Okay. Ace of Swords, truth, clarity, knowledge, wisdom, also victory. Somebody's getting ready to expose some type of heartbreak or some type of third-party situation. Somebody's about to put on blast. Look what's sticking out right here. Three of Pentacles. I'm telling you, I'm feeling third-party. The very last card in the back, Page of Swords. A lot of sword energy. Again, we are currently in Mercury retrograde. Swords is communication. Also, men, uh, um, communication. Also, the mental, okay? Mercurial energy with the swords energy right here, okay? So some of you guys can also be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. But again, Page of Swords is the I spy. Someone keeping tabs. This is social media communication, observation. I feel like something is about to be put on blast. I'm telling you what I'm getting. I'm telling you. Okay, bottom of your clarifying deck, you have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, specifically Taurus. Um, something can definitely go down during Taurus season also. But it also could have to do with a um, Earth sign individual. Ooh, okay, at the very back, the very back, you got the Three of Swords again. So, yeah, something something involving a heartbreak, something involving a breakup is what I'm getting. Mm. Let's see what we get for you, Sag. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, as always, we're going to shuffle the deck up right three times right so that we can... Get the major arcana for your sign, which would be the temperance card. We'll get the temperance card, we'll get the card that comes before, and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers for both, okay? As we part the deck, absolutely. Somebody's putting someone on blast, okay? I'm going to tell you this right now. Somebody is trying to keep something quiet, but then you have the queen of swords, like, I'll be damned if I do. You're not going to silence me, because she has her sword up, and she's ready for war. She's ready for whatever. So if you all are dealing with a um, air or a water sign, 
I feel like at one point this person was content with being quiet and keeping a breakup or some type of third party something to themselves, but now something is getting aired out. Look at that sword up. Sword up for me is always yes. Sword down is no. I'm telling you, something is getting exposed. Got the two of wands. Um, and maybe you, okay, because you are wands. Two of wands is someone needing to choose a direction to go within or action because wands is also passion, action, drive. And then you have a high priestess. So you may have been deciding to keep things quiet because you see how he's looking right in the direction of high priestess. But I feel like the other party is like gun hole on exposing something. Okay, because I feel like this person is overly emotional. I always tell you guys, whenever you have the knight, the knight is someone who's either going into battle or coming out of battle. This person on the outside looks very calm and at peace, but I feel like they're they're deeply in their emotions. Look how that water splashing. They are very emotional about this situation. That's what I'm getting from this. Bottom of the deck, yeah. Let's see what you have up under here. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody was trying to hold back, keep stay grounded, Pentacles. Stay grounded. Keep from saying something. Um, it possibly could have been a week since something has been revealed to them. And they were trying to decide whether or not they were going to move forward with some type of communication. It could be involving someone who was married also with the Four of Wands. <clears throat> you could be married also. Let's get the Temperance card, the card that comes before it, and the card that comes after it. Four, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Individuals. I'm really picking up that somebody is about to... I honestly feel like somebody's about to embarrass themselves, to be honest with you. So if it's you thinking about saying something, you may want to hold out. That's just me just putting that out there. But I feel like it, I don't really feel like it's you. I feel like it's a person connected to you, a love interest connected to you. And we're already all the way at the end of the deck. And we still don't have the high priestess. Okay, so, so let's see. Let's go through it again. Not the high priestess, I'm sorry, the um, temperance card. Yeah, I have to go through it again. Mm, okay, so I'm hearing comb through. Okay, so here it is. I got all the way to the end of the deck and didn't see you guys' card. And I'm like, okay, maybe I went through it too fast. And that's the message that I'm hearing. And I just told you guys, hold off before you say something because you may miss some type of information. And you may want to wait before you put something out there. Also, this person could be doing this and putting something out there without having all the facts. Because look at it already and i don't see the temperance card so it should be in this deck and this is the very first one mm -hmm. somebody overlooked some details and I'll, yeah because this is the very beginning why y'all ain't tell me but this is this is part of the message also somebody has overlooked some details so don't be so quick to say something because you may expose the wrong thing and make yourself look stupid is what i'm getting okay the card yep card right in front of it five of cups Right behind it, the Wheel of Fortune, yes. So I feel like someone, and you see it was right at the top. So Five of Cups, some of you guys are definitely dealing with Water Sign, Cancer, Spice, Scorpio. Also, you see how I overlooked this, and this was just part of the video and message also. One, two, three, his head is down, Three of Cups. So it's like something could have happened, okay, yeah. So I'm hearing that this person feels like this was going on right up under their nose and they didn't see it. And with the wheel turning in your favor or their favor, the wheel is turning somebody's favor to where whatever is coming out is going to pan out positively for them. Yes, that's part of the message for you guys. Um, five cups of sadness, sorrow, grief, you know, emotional discord. And somebody's coming out of the sadness and going into this. This is about to go in their favor. This is the will of fortune. Something is about to positively turn in their favor. So if there was some third party situation, some type of cheating scenario, mm, whatever comes out is actually going to go in their favor. So be it you or this other person, some, I told you something is coming out with a third party for sure. Third party for sure something is coming out. Also keep in mind fives is about challenges and changes that are unexpected Maybe a bit of, you know, something that you didn't see coming. Let's part the deck so we can get clarifiers. Yep. Four of swords, pull back, retreat, go within, distance yourself. One, two, three swords. You see that third, that sword right there, right over the heart. Somebody's dealing with some type of heartbreak. And I feel like somebody is trying to think about whether or not they're going to go on some type of attack. I always see typically the swords as like pins. Sometimes like somebody writing down something. But again, communication. 
somebody's like, I'm just going to keep it to myself. But then there's this golden sword right here. Like this person, I feel like if this person uses this golden sword, they're going to do some damage. And I'm hearing damage control, like, um, character, defamation of character. Somebody's character can be defamed in this process is what I'm getting. Just seeing a strength card, Leo, and then also the emperor. Aries energy, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Let's get a clarifying for your five cups. Wow. And you guys, if you watch my channel for a while, that's the first time that ever happened. So that's very clearly them telling you that something was happening right up under your nose. Or you were doing something right up under somebody's nose and they, they completely overlooked it. Completely overlooked it. And I, I'm, I'm hearing the song again. Start spreading the news. Yeah. Somebody's, gonna, somebody's getting ready to sing like a canary. Okay, you got cards falling out. Yeah, so, okay, somebody's falling apart. Somebody is overly emotional right now and it's going to lead them to... <clears throat> wow. Okay, and I'm seeing a spin, but I'm seeing just visually, I'm seeing a web on it. Like somebody's spinning a web of lies also because they're allowing their emotions to control them is what I'm getting. One more shuffle. Yeah, lover's card in reverse and then a nine of swords in reverse. Gemini energy, Gemini Libra Aquarius, a lot of airy energy. <clears throat> I feel like something is definitely going down during Mercury retrograde for sure. But somebody's gonna have victory in this situation, is what I'm getting. Bottom of the deck, the lovers card upright. Nine of Pentacles and reverse. Nine of Pentacles upright, a single woman, single man, or reverse. It's, it's something. I feel like somebody may be thinking about ending a relationship, but I feel like they don't have all the facts. For some people, you don't have all the facts. I don't want to confuse anyone. For some people, you don't have all the facts, so you may want to hold off on whatever you want to say, okay? And then for others, there is a third party coming in between them because for me, mountains and hills and cars talk about challenges and hurdles and things that we need to get over, okay? And then also with her here, she has her back facing one, two, three pinnacles, okay? And then there's one, two, three energies here. So I'm, I'm picking up some third party. And then you got this three of cups up under here. There's some third party interference for someone for sure. So let's get a clarifier for the five of cups. Clarifier for the five of cups. Let's get a clarifier for the five of cups. For Sagittarius, someone rise of Venus individuals. Mm -hmm. Ooh, somebody's going to say something. I can tell you right now because they're too emotional. You have one card flip out on the table. Yep, Eight of Pentacles. They feel like this can't work. Something is not working. Okay, and, and I'm hearing that this, this ain't gonna work. I'm, I'm hearing this, okay? I'm hearing this ain't gonna work. I'm, I'm not gonna be able to just bite my tongue about this. Somebody's overly emotional. The Eight of Pentacles is actually putting in a physical work, okay? It's coming up in reverse. This person like, this ain't gonna work. And you see how he's facing? In reverse, he's facing the Five of Cups. Like, somebody like, mm-mm, I, I ain't gonna be able to do it. I'm not gonna be able to just sit here and bite my tongue about it. Somebody's gonna spill... The T about this Three of Cups is what I'm getting. Bottom of the deck, the Hermit card in reverse. The Hermit goes back, pulls back, retreats, goes within, distances themselves. I feel like somebody went into Hermit mode, okay? This is definitely being in Hermit mode. But they're coming out of it, and I feel like they're coming out of it so that they can say something. But I feel like it's going to spin this will in their favor. It's going to make it look like they are the victim is what I'm getting. Let's get a clarifier for the will, okay? Yeah, look at that. Six of Swords. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, so I'm going to say this again. I feel like it's going to go in somebody's favor. Somebody's going to leave this a situation. They're going to take custody of a child, possibly. Also, um, I'm really... Some of you guys could be dealing with a June Gemini. June Gemini, June Cancer also. <clears throat> but more than anything, I feel like... Remember, I said something about a week. And I feel like going on the seventh day, seven days from now, something could get exposed. And I feel like it's going to turn things into someone's favor. Like it's going to make this person look like the, the, the victim. Be and I, I say victim because if you look at her, look at her like body language. You see how she has her head down and a hood over her head. Like she's ashamed or like she has in some way been treated unjustly. And I feel like this person is going to post something on social media. And it's really going to paint a picture of this person as being a victim. And a lot of people are going to be trying to reach out to this person to support them on some financial level. Like, this person, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm hearing like a person may, okay, so a person could say that they lost everything, 
okay, because of this relationship, because they had to leave this situation. This person could be starting a GoFundMe page, definitely playing the victim. Um, I'm hearing violins play now, like, you know, like that, you know, cry me a river on a riverbank, okay? Like, this person is really playing up the victim role. And I'm definitely hearing, like, GoFundMe. People are supporting this person. And I feel like somebody's getting, somebody's going to be bashed. Somebody's going to get bad-mouthed. And if you don't believe what I'm saying, look at these cards, okay? Look at the energy of these cards. You know what I mean? Not a, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse is someone who's not working. So this person also could be unemployed right now. And I feel like they're just um, playing the victim role, to be quite honest with you. But there was definitely some type of cheating. And I feel like they're going to play up on this and say that they had to leave a situation that was stable because you do have pentacles here. You know, pentacles are always about your foundation and stability. And they're going to say that they had to leave something that was stable because of some type of cheating scenario because like, there's definitely some cheating there for sure. There was some cheating or someone could assume it also, okay? So make sure, mm, okay, and I, I'm going to say also... Somebody may be leaving with their tail tucked between their head, their head tucked between their tail because they try to play this victim role so that they can get financial assistance and help from others. And like I said, because I'm hearing the song again, start spreading the news. I'm hearing that part over and over again of the song. Somebody may bust this person out and say that they weren't telling the truth. Because keep in mind, sources, communication, also mental, the sources are down. So they feel like this person has not told the truth about something and it's going to be exposed, it's going to be aired out. Air, swords, air sign. It's going to be aired out is what I'm hearing. Mm. Interesting, Sag. Okay. So, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the visuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.